But you gotta keep your head up Oh, and you can let your head down guys, Mr. Google here to review the most disturbing movie in the world, Hope Springs. Hope Springs is directed by David Frankel and it stars Meryl Streep, Tommy Lee Jones, and Steve Carell. The last movie I saw that was made by David Frankel came out last year and it was called The Big Year and it starred Owen Wilson, Jack Black, and Steve Martin, aka the bird watching movie. And I actually saw that movie on opening day and it was one of those movies where I just walked into and it was like, oh. I'm not really expecting much from it. And you know what? It was... I, I really had a big smile on my face the whole time. Like, that movie is such a delight. It's like one of those movies you just go to and you just sit back and relax. And it's, it's just it's so nice. It's just a nice movie. I wanted to give the movie a hug. Now, I wasn't really humongously looking forward to this movie. I didn't think the trailer was like anything special. But I like the people involved. Steve Carell tur turns, like, everything into gold. Like I said in my senior friend for the End of the World review. And I really was interested, sort of, because... Brandon Vanderheim, my friend Brandy, with eight A's, like he, he, this was like his like favorite, uh, most anticipated movie of the whole summer, I'm not even kidding. I haven't talked to him yet, I, I know he saw it because Griffin told me he saw it, and I have no idea what he thought of it. I left him a really interesting voicemail, I don't know what he thought about the movie though. He was probably in the movie when I called him, and I'm like, oh you're probably in the movie, oh. Why am I telling you this? Now, what did I think of Hope Springs? I liked the bird-watching movie more, but yeah, hey, this movie sucked. I'm kidding. Uh, the movie was actually really enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. I had a really good time with this movie. I think this director really knows how to make nice, cheery, you know, little enjoyable movies. And this one was really realistic. And the, the movie was written by this newcomer. This is her first script ever. It, it, it was her first script, and she did a really good job making us feel for these characters. These characters feel very realistic. I know people that are like Tommy Lee Jones' character. I have relatives that are like Tommy Lee Jones. I have relatives that are like Meryl Streep's character. And going on to the cast, I think everyone in this movie is very, very good. If I have to choose a, ch a favorite, probably Tommy Lee Jones, because I, I don't know, I just really, really liked him in this movie. And Steve Carell was great, too. Meryl Streep is getting a lot of Oscar buzz already, but I don't think she's going to get an Oscar nomination, nor I think that she deserve one. However, I do think she's going to get a Golden Globe nomination. I think that's sort of a given. So yeah, the writing, acting, great. Uh, the directing was fine. What about the problems? The problems, and they're pretty big, they're pretty big problems for me, is that the pacing. The pacing was just pretty awful in this movie. I don't really know how long the movie is, but it felt like it was going on forever. Black people. Forever. The Dark Knight Rises was like two and a half hours long. It didn't even feel that long. To me, at least. Wow, burp. It, it, you, you can definitely see the clock ticking. I guess. You can hear the clock ticking. What am I trying to say? And another thing is really predictable. You can see where everything's going. And if it, maybe it, that was sort of unrealistic how everything sort of became really happy. Boobies. 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 And I'm definitely not the target audience for this movie, but I had a really good time with it. And it's actually really, really funny. Yeah, there's dramatic elements to it, but there's, it's really, really funny. I mean, this has one of the funniest endings of the whole year. The thing that just freaked me out about this movie is that, and probably not a lot of people are expecting this, this is one of the raunchiest, like, most sexually filled movies I've seen all year. In a while, actually. In the past three years, like this, this is a PG-13 movie, and there's a, quite a bit of sexual content in this movie. I'm not gonna lie. And there's one scene where Meryl Streep is doing an activity that involves a woman doing that activity behind closed. Do you, do I have to say you? Oh, oh, you get it. I guess um, it's it's a fingering, and it's weird. And there's like two. Well, so maybe one of them was like a half a sex scene. There's like one and a half sex scenes in this movie, and it's like, all right, that's weird. But <laughs> either that, I had a really good time with Hope Springs. What a, this review was weird. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm Mr. Google. Don't forget the ski cap. Subscribe, and I'm an alien now.